Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the AI get, set, and clear focus nodes. Let's run through our quick little example and we're going to see how this works. We're going to have our little AI go to our player. Now the front part of our AI is indicated by the little round green sphere. But this time when the AI leaves us and goes back to its home point, instead of turning around and going towards it, it's basically going to retreat. The front point of the AI is always going to be facing our player when it is retreating. Once it gets back to its home point, I go ahead and I clear it and it goes back to facing wherever it stopped at. We'll go ahead and see that in action one more time and then we'll cover the example itself. Okay, so let's see how that is done. So inside of my behavior tree, I have two services I've created. One simply finds the player and assigns it to the player object. The other one only runs once and basically if we don't have a home location, it sets the home location to the current location of our AI. So that way upon the first time run through, we know where our home location is at. Now, I've created two tasks and one decorator to for our example of the focus nodes. Let's go ahead and look at the first ones. This one's pretty simple. In our sequence, we're moving to the player, waiting five seconds. I have my custom focus node here called set focus, and then we move back to the home location. So our custom node is pretty simple. The set focus node takes in a target. The target is an AI controller. This is going to be the controller that you're using to control this AI. And the new focus is basically what is the new focus for this AI controller. What I'm doing for that one is I'm simply getting our player key as an actor and setting it as our new focus. Keep in mind here, we basically set up the player as a key. So all I'm doing in here is closing these down. All I'm doing is getting that key as an actor and setting that as our focus. And then of course, like any task node, you need to finish executing with this success or we get stuck. So that's how we use our set focus node. Now over here, we are have a decorator to see if we are focused and then the clear focus node. So let's go ahead and do the decorator. Decorator is pretty simple. All we're doing here is the get focus actor node. It simply takes in a target, which is our AI controller, and then returns back whether or not we have something focused. Simple. That's it. So all I'm doing in this case is performing a condition check, getting our generic AI controller, getting our focus actor, and if it's true, I'm returning true, and if it's false, I'm returning false. Now after that, what I'm doing is clearing the focus and then waiting five more seconds. Clear focus is another custom task and this one's really simple. All our clear focus does is take a target, which is our AI controller. All I'm doing here is receiving the execution of our task, getting our AI controller, clearing the focus of our AI controller, and then telling the task itself to finish successfully. So as you can see here, it's pretty simple. We have our set focus node here, we have our get focus node here, and we have our clear focus node used here. And as we saw in our example, we are going to the player. After we wait, we are getting our focus, which is our player, moving, so we're staring at the player. And then once we stop, we are clearing the focus, so we're no longer staring at the player. Now if you want to see some of these in action, let's remove the clear focus. What you're going to see here is after he moves to his home point, he is now going to stay focused on our player and he will continually watch them. So before I could move around and it would stop, now you'll notice he's constantly tracking the player. That's because I have a focus target set using the set focus target and I'm not clearing it. Once you set the focus target, that is where your AI is going to focus at all times until you clear it. That's why I have the clear focus here. And all I'm doing for our decorator is basically getting to make sure we have something focused just so we don't run this branch for no reason. If we aren't actually have anything focused here, let's say for example we don't focus, 
then this branch won't run because this is going to fail. So that's it. Those are our three focus nodes. They are intended to give your AI a focal point. So that way when it is moving or it is stationary, it has something to focus on. It's going to automatically rotate and focus. That's the entire point. Because what you're going to do is if you don't use a focal point and you try to do it yourself, you're going to find setting the controller rotation is going to fight with the actual focal point for your moving, such as your move to or your move forward, and you're going to have issues. So set your focal point, use your normal move to nodes or your AI move tos, let the focal point do its looking. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.